So how about we do some wiring? As you guys can see, we got the uh, Kellang 36 volt power supply. And we got another five volt power supply. I think this is a, a 10 amp, yep, 10 amp rated power supply. And we got the smooth stepper board. Uh, we're gonna do some, we're gonna hook this up. I got some uh, wiring I'm gonna do to bring in the uh, the voltage from the wall and then we're going to verify we get 36 volts out of this verify we get 5 volts out of this and then we're going to wire up to the stepper and then we're going to start getting that set up through uh warp 9. that's it you see the uh, instructions are down here i don't know if you can see on the camera but we're going to go through it we're going to get it done and uh here we go Just a quick update. Looks like my 36 volt power supply has a short or something in it because whenever I plug it in, it uh, it trips the circuit. Tried multiple different outlets, tried different wiring, and uh, it keeps tripping. The 5 volt though, as you, can, you guys can see, it's green light is on. We got uh, 5 volts coming out and we are ready now to hook up the smooth stepper board and uh, start getting all connected. So uh, let's keep going. So what you guys missed off camera is that I went ahead and got the uh, the smooth stepper board set up. Uh, you can see the green light right there on the bottom, the bottom one. It's uh, it's all set up. That means that blinking light means it's talking back and forth between the computer and the board. Um, if you guys got the same board, if you got you know the USB one, all you got to do is go to Warp 9's um, website. They got plenty of documentation and instructions. They even got software if you needed to download anything for it. Um, and then on top of that, you even, they even got the, a YouTube video for you to follow if you need to. Um, if you follow the, the YouTube video, I did. Um, it'd be a pretty seamless setup. You might have a few hiccups, but it's, it's super easy to follow. Um, since we got that done, we're going to move on to the stepper motors. We're gonna get these covers installed. Um, these allow us to have the four pin connector on there, it's gonna go right there, and that way we can have quick and easy connections for uh, the lathe. I reached out to, I think it was Automation Direct, about the 36 volt power supply. Uh, this one's dead. Um, whenever I plugged it in, it, it, it shorts this, the, the circuit breaker. So I reached out to Automation Direct. They said, hey, we'll send you a new one. So big thanks to, I think it was Kathy who I talked to. Uh, we'll be getting that in a few days. But in the meantime, we're gonna shift over to the motors and keep making progress. Got this one almost done. And uh, we'll go get the other one, I think. Where is it? That's over here. This one, this is the way the motors came. Or I got this from somebody else. So we got these other connections, other blocks, this guy on there. We're going to take all this off and uh, we'll get it all hooked up and start making some more progress.
finally it's off so this knob it's pretty mangled now this was on here bottomed out all the way so you couldn't pry up un underneath it or do anything and it was attached to this guy this nut was I guess this was cast or uh, injected into here that was pressed onto here you can see here the it's missing the threads I don't know if you can focus either way that was on here so it took me about 30 minutes off camera to try and get this this darn thing off I had to of course you can see the assortment of tools I had over here had screwdriver some pliers and the, the Dremel to try and cut that off and it looks awfully mangled but uh, I'm glad it's off everything still turns there's no like hard stepping anymore or at all so now now it's off to soldering so uh, let's get to it you guys the boring part of bolting everything on but I now have two stepper motors actually they're like kind of like servo motors now with these covers on and all the wiring we could go a little bit further and uh, make these cords so they can plug in but I don't honestly know right now how long the cords will be that I'll need for wherever the, wi the wires end up so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, we'll continue to wait for the 36 volt power supply. And then once that comes in, then maybe we'll set up some drivers and the board, separate board for the breakouts. And uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> 